Hey gang, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna give you a little overview of fraction conversions. Um, so this is just how to work with mixed numbers, improper fractions, whole numbers, and how to convert from one to the other. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with this mixed number, one and three fourths, and show you how to convert that into an improper fraction, which is equal to seven fourths. So I like to uh, show with pictures, first of all, to let you see why this is equivalent. So I'm going to draw one hole. I'm going to split that one up into fours. So this is my hole and three fourths. So if I split this one up, I, this one's already split up into fourths, but if I split this one up into fourths as well, and then you can see that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fourths. It's still fourths because it's four out of the whole piece, so that's where we get the four down here. And then it's seven because we have seven of them. Okay, so let me show you how to do that mathematically without having to draw out the pictures. Uh, what you want to do with your mixed number here is take the bottom number and multiply, four times one is four, and then take that number that you get and add it to the top number. So then four plus three is seven. So I'll show you out here. Four times one equals four, and then four plus three equals seven. So that's gonna be your new numerator, and you just put that over the same denominator that you had to begin with. So seven-fourths is your answer. Okay, let's go the other way. Let's start with an improper fraction and change it into a mixed number. So I've got five-thirds here. Again, let me show you with a picture what that looks like. For thirds, I like to do circles. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, five thirds. And I'm gonna change that to a mixed number. So all of this is equal to one and two thirds. So as you can see, I have one whole circle filled in. That's where my one hole comes in. And I've got two out of the three pieces. So that's two thirds. So let me show you how to do this one mathematically without having to draw the pictures. So a fraction is just a division problem. So what we're going to do is 5 divided by 3. 3 can go into 5 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. So we do our subtraction. And we've got that 2 left over. That's our two pieces that are left over right there. So this 1 is our whole number. This 2 is our new numerator. And the 3 we leave at the bottom because we still want it in thirds. So that's how you turn it into a mixed number from improper fraction. So this last one is my favorite because it's the easiest. Um, if you have a whole number and you need to turn it into a fraction, maybe you're dividing or multiplying with fractions, um, then you simply, if you have three holes, well, each of those are not cut into pieces, so it's just one on the bottom, so you have three over one. So you just take that whole number and turn it into a fraction by sticking it over one right here. So I hope that helps with uh, fraction conversion. Um, please check out my website as well, mytutoringb.com, because I have a lot of uh, my videos on there and some other infographics that will help you with fractions. Thanks so much.